God bless you, this past Lorenzo was coming back. I was still in the spot right now with about 30 years ago. Uh, a guy pulled up in this parking lot with a 12 gauge shotgun. I was around 17 years old at that particular time. Having a house party at my boy David Williams' house. I was right in front of these bushes that you see right behind me. Um, a guy pulled up with a 12 gauge shotgun, pulled it out, said he was going to shoot me. You know, I lifted up my hand, said, if you're going to shoot, shoot. I had nowhere to run. What can I do? He pulled the gun, he pulled the trigger. All I heard was a boom. You see all these trees behind me and the fence. Bullets hit the trees. The buckshot hit the fence. I can hear them hitting the trees and hitting the fence, you know. Uh, but I was still standing there without a gunshot, without a bullet in my body. At that particular time, you know, I knew that God had a plan in my life. You know, God saved me. He put an angel right in front of me to save me from death. Uh, after that, I walked into the house party like nothing happened. And there I was, still standing. Uh, a couple of minutes later, I found out where the guy was at. We rolled over there. You know, finna get revenge on him. But as I walked on to him, he looked at me like I was a ghost. You know, like he, you know, I should be dead. At that particular time, I just turned my back and walked away. Never seen homeboy again, never had another problem. But I'm telling you, when God has a plan in your life, that's what he do. He saved you from destruction. And if you're living, if you're watching this video right now, that means to tell me that God has a plan for your life. And so it's not the end. I grew up on these streets, streets of Gary, Indiana. Grew up right here in the hood in Etna. Well, back in the day, it wasn't the hood. This was like one of the most prestigious places to live in Gary. You know, when I first moved here, it was mostly white people here. Uh, matter of fact, the white folks used to chase me home from school because I was only one of the only black dudes in the city. Back in 1975, I started kindergarten here. They used to, the white boys used to chase me home every day. Hey man, I just cut right through this field, jumped this fence, my house is like right around the block. So for that day, I didn't have no more problems, you know. But yeah, they used to chase me home every day. But now, you know, black people are chasing black people home. They're killing each other on the streets. And so I came out here just to see if I can make a little difference, you know. Talk to the dudes in the hood. Let them know what I've been through. Let them know what it's all about. So yeah, this is just bringing back a lot of memories. But yeah, right here is when I got, I got shot at right here against this fence right here. And... Uh, Man, I tell you, bring back some memories, bring back a lot of memories. God saved me that particular day, and he kept me ever since. And so I just thank God that he had a plan in my life and that he spared my life from destruction. You know, I could have been dead that particular day. But God is good. But I'm here in Etna, a little town in Gary, Indiana, uh, back in the hood. So just wanted to show you. My people, my son, my daughter, all those back in California. This is the spot right here. I was standing right in this spot right here. Where did it shoot? There it is. Walk right through here. Walk into that house right there.